You're still alive. That's, uh, that's good. I've been stressing out all night. You okay? Well, uh, I just wanted to check on you. Make sure you were all right. Unfortunately, I didn't make much progress. I've been digging online, but nothing solid. That weird red symbol. It's not in any of the usual places. No ancient symbols. No cult signs. Nothing obvious. But... Uh, I might know someone who could help. Okay. You remember that girl I dated a while back? <laughs> The one that really didn't like. Yep, Jade. That's the one. That goth, modern day witch kind of girl. <laughs> that wasn't a fan. Said she was kind of a freak. And well, she did do some freaky stuff. <laughs> Not all bad though, if you catch my drift. <laughs> Anyway, uh, I still know how to get in touch with her. And she's deep into folklore and symbols and studied her share of religions and occult stuff. If anyone could tell us what that red symbol is, it's her. I'll reach out and see if she can help. <laughs> yeah, um... She wasn't that bad, actually. I think that was being a little too harsh on her. But anyway, I'll let you know what I find if I can get in contact with her. In the meantime, try not to get too deep into Ashwood's weirdness. Something's off about that place, and I don't want you tangled up in it. You got it. Stay safe, okay? We'll figure this out together. Good morning, dear. Trust you had a restful night? Oh, I am so glad to hear that. We do our best to make sure our guests are comfortable. Thomas, why don't you offer our guests something to eat for breakfast? Uh, yeah, breakfast. Are you sure you don't want to head out early? I can pack something for the road if you're planning to leave town soon. It's probably for the best if you- Oh, Thomas, don't be so quick to rush our guests out. They're welcome to stay as long as they like. Perhaps another night or two? We wouldn't want you to miss the festival, dear. It's tomorrow night, you know? A rare treat for visitors. It's not often we get new faces this time of year. It'd be lovely to have you join us. It's a local thing, Mother. The festival isn't for outsiders, and it's not a tourist event. Oh, nonsense, my child. In this lovely town, we treat everyone like family. So long as they're here, they'll be one of us. Besides, the more people who know about Ashwood, the better. <laughs> Maybe we can even convince others to join us. It's always nice to have new blood in town. Why don't you stay a couple more nights, dear? Free of charge. Of course, it's our way of saying thank you for choosing our little town. All right. If that's what you want, Mother. <laughs> that's a good boy. If you need anything at all, don't hesitate to ask. <laughs> Thank you.
Listen, my mother, she's in charge of a lot of things around here, including the festival. It's not just some local party, it's complicated. People here take it seriously. Outsiders don't understand it, and I don't think you should stay for it. I can't talk about it much, but you need to be careful. I don't want you getting hurt or caught up in something you can't get out of. If I say too much, I'll be in trouble too. Look, if you're not planning on leaving, then we need to talk. There's something you need to know about this place, but not here. Not where she can hear. Meet me outside of town at midnight, near the old chapel. It's the only place where I can talk freely. Now, <clears throat> I've got to get back to work. Stay safe. And don't trust everything you hear. Did anyone see you? Good. It's... It's better that way. Look, I'll just say it. This place... It's not what it seems. I don't know what you've been told, but Ashwood isn't just a quiet town near the woods. There's more to it than that. A lot more. But before I explain, I need to know something. Why are you here? No one just visits Ashwood. There's always a reason. Please, trust me. I want to help you, but I need to know what brought you here. You're looking for someone. May I ask... what their name is? Henry. I... Yes, I know him. Everyone here does. He's one of us. How... Why? Your father... Mm. I... I didn't know he had children. That's strange. If that was the case, they would be forced to stay here and... It's complicated. Ashwood isn't like other towns. The people here, we're bound to this place by blood. It's in us. The town, the woods, everything. And every year, during the festival, we gather at midnight. It's not just some local celebration. It's necessary for the town's safety, for its Prosperity. I don't know all the details, but I know enough. The festival isn't just a party, it's a ritual. A tradition we're forced to carry out year after year. If we don't, well, let's just say things can go wrong. I can't give you the full story. I don't know everything myself, but what I do know is that Ashwood demands something from us. Something that keeps the town alive. There are rules, and there are consequences if those rules are broken. People who stay here, who are part of this, they change. Over time, Ashwood brings out the shadows in them, the darkness. Even the best people here aren't immune. Your father, he's been part of this for a long time. I know, he is a good man. Everyone here was good once, but what Ashwood does to people, it's not about being good or bad. It's about survival. This place takes from us. I tried to leave once. 
a long time ago. But Ashwood won't let go. Not easily. That's why I'm telling you. You need to leave now. Before you get tangled up in this. The festival? It's not safe for an outsider like you. You could get hurt. Or worse. Please. Consider what I'm saying. You still have time. Not leaving without your father. I knew you'd say that. You want to help him, but I'm not sure you can. Not with what Ashwood asks of us. The blood ties in this town. They go back generations. It's in your father's blood. And... If he's your father... It's in your blood too. Now that I think of it... You're connected to this place, too. I fear that Ashwood already has a hold on you. Damn it. I'm sorry. You must be so confused. I didn't want you to get dragged into this. I'll help you as much as I can. But if anything goes wrong, come to me. I hate this place. I never got the chance to leave it behind. Start a new life free from all this madness. But maybe I can help you get out. It would be a victory to me. The festival's tomorrow night. Whatever you do, stay out of the way. Don't draw attention to yourself. And if things go south, come find me. I'll do what I can to get you out. Now, you better go back to the inn before someone sees you here. We'll talk later.